Good afternoon, my dear friends, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, and then my dear students. Welcome to B Care Online Education. Yeah, now it is already afternoon. I know when you should say good morning, when you should say good afternoon, and when you should say good evening. Good morning can be said morning six o'clock you wake up up till twelve o'clock. And good afternoon has to be said from 12 to 4, maybe 2 or 3 minutes, maybe more or less. And from 4 o'clock to night, 12 o'clock, you have to say good evening. Never wish a person good night. Good night and you have After meeting the person, after he going home or you are going home, after parting, then you have to say good night. Till then you should not say. I had rice with sambar. I had rice with rasam. Today I had curd rice. I had lemon rice. I had tamarind rice. I had mutton biryani. I had chicken biryani. I had chapati rice with egg curry or something like that you can say. So, this is what you have to say. So, did you have your lunch? I had. What did you have at the Ini Chapali? <coughs> Okay, then I'll ask you one more question. When did you have? I had at 2 o'clock, I had at 130, like that. You can see. Okay, this is how you have to say. Yes. At what time did you wake up today? Today I woke up at 6:30, or you can say half past six. Today I woke up at 7 o'clock. I 7 o'clock. Today I woke up at 7:10. This 10 minutes past seven. Today I woke up at 7.15, you can say, I woke up at quarter past 7. Today I woke up at 7.30, you can say, or half past 7. Today I woke up at 7.45, you could say, today I woke up at quarter to 8, like that you can say. <coughs> this is how you have to say. So coming to the topic, coming to the subject, at what time did you wake up? Sorry, at what time you went to bed last night? Sir, I went to bed at 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock like that. Now, coming to the subject, before coming to the subject, you should start asking questions like that. The more speech and indirect speech, how direct speech gets converted to indirect speech? When we should use indirect speech? <clears throat> that is your question. Direct speech. When A is speaking to B, it is a direct speech or when B is speaking to A, it is called a direct speech. It's a dialogue between two persons, conversation or something like that. It can be more than two also. So A asks B and B has to report the matter to C. How will he report? A asks some questions or A will say something. How you report the matter to C that is the third person? A is the first person. B, I am the second person, C or D, whoever I am going to report is the third person. <laughs> okay. Suppose you will ask A, <clears throat> what is your name, sir? The direct dialogue will be, my name is Ashok Kumar. I will say my name is Ashok Kumar. So the person, the C will ask, sir, what did A ask you? Or what did A say to you? So I will say, A asked what my name was. Then what did you say, sir? You say, I said that my name was Ashok Kumar, like that. You have to say. So what here it happens is the tense gets changed. The tense gets changed from direct speech to indirect speech. That is what I told you yesterday. So is will become was, am will become was, will will become would, is playing will become was playing, was playing will become had been playing. Have been playing will become had been playing, has played will become had played like that. Can will become serious. When you are converting some sentences from direct speech to indirect speech, it gets changed to the next tense. That is, here the tense changes. In case of active voice and passive voice, there is nothing like changing of tense. The only thing is it gets converted to third degree of verb, which is called part participle. Excuse me one minute. Thank you. 
excuse me yeah that is what i have been telling you about active voice and passive voice direct speech and indirect speech so you may ask you may ask me a question sir why it is so important is active voice what how it is said is passive voice why passive voice is very it is written in the newspaper what whatever it is printed in newspaper this will be in passive voice that is what you have to know the passive voice <coughs> here what happens the tense will change in active voice when it comes to passive voice it is only one form of verb that is be pre that is past participle throughout whether you say in present tense whether you say in past tense whether you say in future tense always in fact spoke speaking is speaking was speaking will speak will be speaking will be have spoken had spoken everything in the passive was it will be spoken only from top to bottom so that is the only difference that is the only thing you should know as a rule so past passive voice is always followed by past participle in whatever tense is but in active voice it is all different so coming to direct speech and indirect speech as i told you here the tense changes for example <coughs> sachin plays cricket when you want to reply what did sachin say when you want to inform that into so in direct speech it will be sachin had played cricket if you say sachin will play cricket in the indirect speech it will say that sachin would play cricket so sachin is playing cricket indirect speech will say sachin was playing cricket and if he is saying in past continuous sachin was playing cricket it gets con converted to sachin had been playing cricket and if you say sachin will be playing cricket the indirect speech it says so sachin would be playing in the cricket would be playing cricket you this present perfect sad played cricket here also it will be sachin had played cricket in past perfect continuous and past perfect continuous in past perfect tense the tense will not change it will remain the same for example he had been playing cricket in indirect speech also it will be like that he had been playing cricket. if you want to convert that into indirect speech it gets converted to had been playing had been playing in direct speech if it is had been indirect also it will be had been so this is about the direct speech and indirect speech what i'll do is taught you in my previous classes for the past one month in the next month onwards i will be revising what all i taught in my previous classes starting from the scratch that is articles a and the so nothing to worry if you have missed any classes again this will be revised so make a note of it now i mean to <clears throat> the words words are there in a dictionary if somebody asks me i would say that there are more than 7 lakhs 50000 words in oxford dictionary or in cambridge dictionary sir do you remember all those words no nobody remembers even the person who has written a dictionary will also not remember all those words so how many words be 500 or 3000 words not more than that we use so most of the words are repeated so 7 lakh 50000 words we may not use very rarely one or two we may use but frequently 90% or 99% maximum we use within only 2500 to 3000 words that's all so these are called the vocabulary see <clears throat> see you have a habit of reading newspaper or you have a habit of reading magazines or story books whatever it is see what some people do is they simply read and keep quiet keep quiet sir they will say i know to read i know to write even you ask a specific meaning of that word they may not know most of the people they simply read and close it so here i have given some words so some more words i will be giving on monday sir i have written i so the first word will be affidavit the most of the students think this where you make because you don't practice correctly the thing is you have to practice number of times you have to write one word number of times so one time writing is equal to 10 times reading saying is but still if you write you will not forget the spellings then how to remember the spellings i will tell you an idea how to remember the spellings is something like that you have to split into syllables that is i have written here afi david 
how to remember the spelling of a bit bit so there are syllable you have to split a fi da bit a fi da bit that means a fi da bit there are four syllables so a is a f a fi f f i is fi da d a da v i t bit so there are those are called if you split and say those are called syllables yes y l l a b l e s deenki syllables an cheptaru meeru split cheskuni cheptte neeru meeki em kashtam kaadu spellings ni mistake cheyaru so wherever whatever you write whatever you read when while writing you will not make any spelling mistakes so while speaking nobody will ask you spellings only this they will find out only while writing so spellings are very very important in english if you miss any one letter or if you replace if you replace any one letter for stationary any r y if you write n a r y it gives a different meaning but the pronunciation is the same i went to a stationery shop you can say what spelling you said i went to the stationery shop everybody will think that you are saying any r y When, while writing if you write m a r y that is a very big mistake you are replacing a in place of e you are writing a in place of e it's a big mistake then what happen that stationery is something like it doesn't know the sun is stationery this train is stationery all the buildings are stationery anything which doesn't move is called stationery r y and n a r y that's what i what i mean to say you my dear friends you should be always careful while writing you should never make spelling mistakes even a single letter replacing or missing will give a different meaning or will give no meaning at all so coming to affective it means written statement on stamp paper so stamp paper is sold it is not a private paper it is sold by the government of karnataka government of tamil nadu government of andhra pradesh statement and you put a signature so so two witnesses will be there you take a signature from the notary public that is a lawyer or you sign before the magistrate it it is something like a written document it is something like a uh, what do you call that uh, you cannot change it you cannot change it is something like a rule something like an order okay so that is called affidavit means written document on a stamp paper so aerodrum <clears throat> look at the word aerodrum a ro drum a ro drum station air station means where all the planes are parked some 20 planes will be there 30 planes will be there you can't park the plane as you park in the bus stand you can't park the plane in front of your house or in a big playground because it requires a huge place so it has to land and it has to take off so only plane can be set as the plane is landing the plane is taking off the plane takes off or the plane took off the plane is landing the plane has landed like that you can see only for plane because it flies in the air okay there is called aerodrome means where all the planes are parked okay now coming to aggressive the word aggressive means offensive don't make it aggressive only kopam tetti yodane mata so aggressive a aggressive aggressive a g a g r e g r s i v e s h v s s i v e so there are three syllables split that and write you will never split and write you have to split as per the pronunciation as i told you in a f i d a v i t a f i d a v i t while saying you have to say a f i d a v i t a r o d r u m split and write same thing with aggressive now coming to next word is alter and alter look at that very very important alter and alter a l e a r and one more alter is that a l t e r a l t a r is place of worship a l t a r means place of worship which is the temple church mosque gurudwara <coughs> or you can go to the graveyard even that is also called a place they go to 
their graveyard to pray any place where you worship is called altar a l t a r the one more altar is there a l t e r that means change that means change means modify i want to alter my shirt i want to alter my pant i have given my shirt for alteration i have given my pant for alteration like that alter means change so be very careful with the spelling is the writing a so you cannot say i have given my pant for alter if you cannot you cannot say that this spelling a l t a r we we go there to pray we went to alter to pray you cannot use that a l t e r you have to say a l t a r so that is the difference between alter and alter so coming to i have chosen some specific words this you might have read in books and magazines and all this is very important <coughs> you might have not heard also but this is very of i have chosen some selective words and written on the board now coming to anonymous m o u s anonymous means without name of the author author means a person who writes magazines a person who writes news a person who writes poems or poems a person who writes stories in a book or any magazine he will not mention his name his name should not be known so varthi peru undu varthi peru telugudane anamata suppose if something went something goes wrong the people they don't want to know some people they do not want to become popular some their name should be kept in secret they do not want to become popular or maybe some compli complication due to writing maybe some it will make uh, offensive for some people for that reason maybe most of the people they will not write their name so that is anonymous letter anonymous magazine anonymous story anonymous poem anonymous script anything you can say anonymous mean the person who has written that his name will not be mentioned or he himself has not mentioned his name now coming to applause <coughs> applause a p p l a u s e applause means clapping give him a big applause early days and all clap him they will say clap him give him a big clap they will say now the clapping word has been replaced by applause give him a big applause because he has secured first he has secured maximum marks in maths maximum marks in all the subject he has secured a gold medal he has secured a silver medal in olympics or something like he has office to our business something like that give him a big applause means that is clapping in hands okay <coughs> now coming to assassination assassination a s s a s s i asa c nation n a t i o n as asa c asa asa a s a c asa c nation four syllables that means a s s a a s s a s s i n s a s nation that is called planned murder so even who wants to kill a person on that particular date at a particular time so he will go and do it he will go and do it if he commits that crime so it is called the assassination so the this is called a noun assassinate 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 is a verb the past tense of assassinate is assassinated coming to that how many people were assassinated in india all three great all the three were great so mahatma gandhi was assassinated on january 30th 1948 shrimati indira gandhi for or i don't know the exact date of rajiv gandhi so rajiv gandhi was assassinated in sri parampur in it is in tamil nadu mahatma gandhi was assassinated in porbandar that is in hometown and shrimati indira gandhi was assassinated in his in his house itself that is in delhi so assassinated means over so she was killed so it is a planned murder so you plan on that particular date and particular time you will go and kill a person that is called assassination now coming to albumin and yolk you might have eaten egg you might have most of them something like marwadi sanal they don't eat non veg that is 
No, egg is not a non which they say now, because it is not the flesh of an animal. They say egg is a vegetarian. It all depends upon how you say. So the white portion, the colorless portion of the egg is called albumen. Yellow portion is called yolk. White o l k is called. Ah, white one thing is that. But white just white go thing. That is the nil matter. It will be in the watery form. It will be in the watery form. That watery form of the egg is called albumen. And the yellow portion. It is the egg, but you don't know what is the white portion and what is the yellow portion. Good thing under thin under. A white portion came under, yellow portion came under. Then two men did tell you. Thin under can you tell you? That is a white portion came under. Albumen under. Yeast and yeast. A yeast. Some technical words I have written on the board. Very very important. A yeast means one who doesn't believe in the existence of God. <coughs> ఎవరు దేవుని నమ్మేలేదో వాడికి అతీస్ట్ అంటారు ఎవరు దేవుని నమ్ముతాడో వాడికి తీస్ట్ అంటారు వన్ హూ బిలీవ్స్ ఇన్ ది ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ ఈస్ ఓన్లీ డిఫరెన్స్ ఇస్ యు ఆర్ యాడింగ్ ఏ బిఫోర్ తీస్ట్ ఇట్ బికమ్స్ ఆపోజిట్ ఏ బిఫోర్ తీస్ట్ ఇస్ అతీస్ట్ వన్ హూ డజెంట్ బిలీవ్ ఇన్ ది ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ తీస్ట్ ఇస్ వన్ హూ బిలీవ్ ఇన్ ది ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ కమింగ్ టు ద పాయింట్ how many people are atheist and how many people of atheist in the world means some 20% of the people are atheist 80% believe in the existence of god they say that god is there and 20% say there is no god so what do you what if somebody ask me sir what about you what do you say i will say there is god i believe in the existence of god i am atheist it should exist you for example <coughs> what is this this is a marker pen so when you say marker pen that it exists when you say an apple it is there when you say an orange it is there when you say a banyan tree it is there when you say river ganga it is there when you say pyramids of egypt it is there you say anything when there is a name that means it exists ఉందనే మాట ఇప్పుడు లేదని మాట్లాడి కదా పేరు ఉంటుందా సంథింగ్ విచ్ ఇస్ నాట్ అట్ ఆల్ దేర్ కెన్ యు గివ్ ఏ నేమ్ ఫర్ దట్ నో యు కాన్ గివ్ ఏ నేమ్ దట్ మీన్స్ యు ఆర్ గివ్ ఏ నేమ్ ఫర్ గాడ్ జి ఓ డి గాడ్ ఇట్ ఎగ్జిస్ట్ ఉందనే మాట లేదంటే పేరు ఎలా వస్తుంది లేకపోతే పేరు ఎలా వస్తుంది ఏర్ యు కాన్ సీ బట్ స్టిల్ యు కెన్ ఫీల్ ఇట్ ఎగ్జిస్ట్ వాటర్ planets earth sun moon you give a name but you see but still you give a name you give a name for that anything you give a name means that exists here what happens so creation is there heavenly bodies like sun planets plants trees animals <clears throat> everything there is a creation so when there is a creation there should be a creator so when there is the thing how to make this marker pen the person is there to make he goes to the machine shop when you make this there should be something how trees are formed how water is formed how human beings are born animals are born so there should be a creator so when there is a creation there should be a creator that is called god that is what everybody says but we should not keep on arguing should not keep a topic as Yes, I believe in the existence of God. He doesn't believe in the existence of God. There should not be a topic for discussion. So it will lead to quarrel. Why are you going to say that? Why are you going to say that? Why are you going to say that? Should not take a topic of God. Yes, if you believe, somebody says that I believe, you are, yes, true. If you don't, that's all. So you should leave there itself. You should not have a discussion. we should not have a debate about god sari no sari unda no sari alaga chettu gamme it is about the atheist and trish the definition says here is one who doesn't believe in the existence of god is called atheist one who believes in the existence of god is called atheist so these are the technical words <coughs> you attire 
ఏం సరిది అటైరంటే సరి తెలియదు కదా మాకి సరి తెలుసు క్లోజ్ ఉంది తెలుసు అటైర్ సి దిస్ ఈస్ ది అదర్ వర్డ్ ఆఫ్ అటైర్ అటైర్ మీన్స్ డ్రెస్ ఆఫ్ క్లోదింగ్ యు కమ్ ఇన్ స్కూల్ అటైర్ మీన్స్ స్కూల్ యూనిఫామ్ మై మేం బి ఐ బిఎల్ఈ ఆన్ ద ఇనపడం సర్ యువర్ వాయిస్ ఇస్ ఆడిబుల్ అంటే ఇనపడుతుంది సర్ యువర్ వాయిస్ ఇస్ నాట్ ఆడిబుల్ అంటే సరి ఇనపడతా లేదు audio is only listening video is watching and listening it, it can happen both when you see a video you see a pictures there you see action happening and you can see a dialogue also so it is both audible means can be heard <coughs> sir we could hear what you say it is audible audible ante inpre madri untundi anamata coming to word auspicious auspicious a u s auspicious 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 so three syllables hope to write the spelling as a u s as p i p c i s c i o u s you split and write you will never go wrong you will never make spelling mistakes the best method correct pronunciation rather than the out in no pronunciation lo ఇది సైలెంట్ వర్డ్ ఉంది బట్ యూ షుడ్ రైట్ సైలెంట్ వర్డ్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ కాఫ్ హాఫ్ నో కేఎన్ఓడబ్ల్యూ నో వెన్స్డే బ్రిడ్జ్ నైబర్ ఇదంతా ఎన్నో సైలెంట్ లెటర్ ఉంటుంది ప్రొనౌన్సియేషన్ మాది కాదు బట్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు లర్న్ ద స్పెలింగ్స్ యూ స్ప్లిట్ అండ్ యూ హెట్ రైట్ ఓన్లీ రైటింగ్ విల్ హెల్ప్ యూ టు అవాయిడ్ స్పెలింగ్ మిస్టేక్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ సింప్లీ సే యూ విల్ ఫర్గెట్ సో ది సే ఎస్ వన్ టైమ్ రైటింగ్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు 10 times reading telsa edi practice cheyalante rasi practice chesthe meer spelling mistake avadu ani mari auspicious means favorable or bright today is a very auspicious day yesterday was auspicious day tomorrow is auspicious day auspicious means it's very bright something good very very good so there is nothing like bad day in no epics in no religious books like bhagavad gita vedas quran or bible there is nothing like that day there is nothing like monday is a good day tuesday is day a book lo no a grantha lo rai ledu adi good day bad day auspicious day cheskuni neme man has made everything good bad everything there is nothing like that good day or bad day auspicious but auspicious means favorable and bright favorable and bright we are going to autopsy what do you mean by autopsy a u t o p s y autopsy autopsy a autopsy a u t o p s y that means post mortem where do you say post mortem see when a person dies You, the doctors or nobody will come to know how either he has consumed poison whether he has bit him whether somebody hit him or he died due to cardiac arrest heart failure or did he did he die due to uh, lung failure lung infection liver infection a person died a satchado ne mata ela satchado ante then you go for autopsy you want to know the cost cause of death only in suspicious cases something like murder and all they will find out whether the person might have hanged or somebody might have pressed his neck <laughs> you should know the reason how this person died <clears throat> how this person died just seeing the body you will not come to know so the dead body will be sent to autopsy that is called post mortem p o s t post m o r t e m so examination of a dead body is called autopsy or post mortem other word of autopsy is post autopsy mind it okay now coming to awesome awesome look at that awesome <coughs> e silent there awesome both these are silent a w e s o m e awesome samina it is not sami s o m e so both e is silent here in this word a w e s o m e we don't spell e. we just say a w s o m awesome awesome means 
something inspiring something very nice something very good chana bagundidi is a awesome dress awesome place his song was very awesome his speech was very awesome he played a awesome agle dante the opposite of awesome is awful very bad and present awful a w f u l a w f u l awful awesome ante chana baagundi anamata awful ante chana ne baagaledi anamata awesome means very inspiring something inspiring awful means something unpleasant very bad so coming to slaughter house then it chapter slaughter house where animals are cut there is a different place there is a specific place there is a particular place you don't go to the mutton shop and see the animals are cut there chicken shop chicken of course they cut there animals means cow or oh, sorry not cow bull sheep goat or camel during bakri they take a specific place they take to a particular place and they cut that is called slaughter house slaughter house means where animals are cut from there people buy the salesman buy goes to the shop and sell and sell okay that is called slaughter house protagonist protagonist means main character of the play protagonist means a hero or a heroine who is the protagonist in that movie who is the protagonist of the play drama and chapkur the play in chapala that word has been removed you have to say play okay he acts in that play he is the protagonist of the play protagonist means hero or heroine p r o t a protagonist protagonist four syllables p r o pro t a t gonist g o n i s t protagonist is hero or heroine dawn to dusk what do you mean by dawn to dusk d o n dawn ka this is d a w n dawn to dusk means dawn to dusk means morning to he works from dawn to dusk vada poddu nunchi sayantram varaku panchestaru anamata d a w n to dusk d u s k from morning to evening i work from morning to evening that is called dawn to dusk so coming to green room green room is called makeup room all the actors all the artists film artists will go to the green room do the makeup and come back and act in movies or in play so why it is called green room we used to do it in open places so how to change the dress or makeup means they used to bring all the coconut leaves big coconut leaves tankai chettudi idu undi kada em antaru aakulu adi aakulu petti 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 room laaga chesi chesar they made it like a small room covering the leaves covering the leaves of the coconut tree they made it as a room in their dress change the costume they say dress is nothing but costume or do makeup and come back and act in movies or other place so that room, from there the he got the name as green room now also it continues green room is makeup room so coming to <coughs> big gun what do you mean by big gun big gun and any he is a very influential person Donald, all the ministers, all the MLS, every a person who is very famous is called an influential person. Influential person means he knows each and every one in the country. He is known each and every one in the entire world. So he is called a big gun. B I G big gun. So that means influential person. Now coming to absconded. Where do you use absconded? absconded means escaped the thief has absconded if you have done any mistake if you have done any crime you do not want to be get caught 
ఏమైనా చాలా పెద్ద తప్పు చేసి ఉంటారు పోలీసు వాళ్ళు పెట్టుకుని కొడతారు నిన్ని వేరే ఎవరైనా జనాలు ఉంటే కొడతారు నువ్వు చాలా పెద్ద తప్పు చేసి ఉంటావు టు అవాయిడ్ దట్ టు అవాయిడ్ దట్ పనిష్మెంట్ యు ఎస్కేప్ సో వాట్ హపెన్స్ ఇయర్ ఇస్ ది అదర్ వర్డ్ ఫర్ ఎస్కేప్ ఈస్ అబ్స్కాండెడ్ ద థీప్ ఈస్ అబ్స్కాండింగ్ he is absconding he has committed a crime when the police sees him he will be caught or he would be caught so just to avoid the punishment he has absconded he might have committed a theft a murder or a rape also he would have committed a theft he would have committed a murder he would have committed a rape or he would something like many many things are there so what happens there after doing that he has absconded he has escaped because he should not be get caught panni pettukokuntane mata pettukunte police vanni punish chestaru he will be punished when he is caught he will be punished he will be sent to jail so for that reason he has committed a crime and he has committed a crime and extortion and extortion means something like that by force you take away something that is called robbery extortion akane manchu untaru vanni kotti athi tisukuni kotchu so the crime can be in many ways which is illegal the crime one one crime is a murder one crime is extortion you take away the things by threatening him one crime is a theft one crime is forgery one is forgery theft and one crime is murder so all these are illegal it is against law you will be punished just to avoid punishment the person has escaped or the person has absconded so he is absconding escape i put in not in the matter so that is called the meaning of absconded is escape now coming to one more word like blue blood what do you mean by blue body is color is red only but blue blood means he is a very rich person he is a very influent top most person very rich person may be a king or a prince chana gopai na manshi may be a great scientist so that is that is what he is called as a blue blood means very influential influential person very rich person very top most person very very important person you cannot see such a person like that maybe one in a crore so he is called a blue blood he is called a blue bed art yes. now i shall stop here i hope you would have i hope you enjoyed this class very much about the vocabulary some of the technical words something if you know it's better if you know it's better so don't get confused <coughs> sorry <coughs> if you are reading a newspaper if you are reading any story book if you are using a reading any magazine or a journal keep a cell phone beside you or keep a dictionary beside you if you happen to read a word instantaneously same time you are referred to you go to net you go to google and type the word you will get the meaning so what most chaana patients say undu valo etla sadukun podi sir don't simply read and keep it aside you should when you read something all the words what you read you should understand when you don't understand there is no fun in reading there is no use in reading some more vocabulary words i will be uh, teaching you on monday and i shall stop here for the day and first any queries please write to we care online education so that we will be very happy to give you a feedback something like that so i shall stop here for the day meanwhile have a nice weekend sarve janaga sukhino bhavantu